Okay, we're back at the Viking Husqvarna Model 21, and again, an amazing machine from the 1950s, uh, specifically 1953. You already know that this machine can sew heavy duty, and what we'd like to demonstrate now is just how easy it is to set one of these 25 built-in stitches that come with these three cams that we're going to include with this uh, amazing machine. Uh, this is, uh, as we had shown you, I think, in the introductory video, this is the dial-a-stitch type disc that you can use to set any one of those 25 stitches very easily. And also, if you needed to do double needle sewing, it's as simply as, it's as, simple as turning over this disc and setting one of those points again uh, in order to get that uh, double needle uh, stitching just perfect every single time. But well, we're going to focus on single needle stitching at this point, and let me just show you how easy it is to set this. Uh, on the side of here, I don't know if the camera can see it or not, there's basically set points on this little slider, anything from one to five. And as the camera hopefully can see, for this particular stitch that we want to sew, we're going to want to set this particular control at two. So I'm going to simply slide this in, one step. We're going to then move from what is this also this needle uh, position control over to the stitch length control. And as you can see on the dial, we're going to have to set that all the way down to 0.3. So we're just going to slowly rotate this clockwise. We're now at 0 0.5, 0 0.4, and 0 0.3. We're then going to move to the final step which is our stitch width, and you can see that our dial of stitch setting says set it to four. So we're going to simply rotate it from zero all the way over to four. Again, three very simple steps. Step one, we set it to two. Step three, we set our stitch length to 0.3. And step three, we set our stitch width to four. So I'm going to move this disc to the side and follow me down to the needle and I'll show you how beautifully this Viking Model 21 sews decoratively. And here we go. Doesn't that run quiet? It's just such a quiet, beautiful running machine. Look at that top stitch. That is just a gorgeous, gorgeous top stitch. And if I turn it over, an equally beautiful lock-in stitch. This Viking 21 not only has that heavy-duty side that you've seen, but look at how beautifully it sews decoratively. The other thing I wanted to show you, and I meant to show, I, I meant to show this to you in the introductory video, and I forgot is how easy it is to disengage uh, the bobbin system. I'm not going to be able to rotate it all the way around, but I, I do want to at least give the camera an opportunity to kind of get a shot of the side of the machine a little bit, and you'll see this in the photos as well. But with a lot of machines, you have to go through several steps to disengage that clutch so you can wind a bobbin. With this Viking Automatic, it's as simple as taking this bobbin and snapping it on the side, and with that one step, you're able to disengage the clutch. I'll go ahead and push on the, uh, the uh, foot control and you're ready to wind a bobbin. And I'm going to real quick, if the camera will kind of back, move back over towards the needle, I'm going to quickly just unthread this because you don't want to run a machine when it's threaded. And I've unthreaded that, so camera follow me back over to the side. I know it's a little bit cumbersome. I'm going to simply remove that bobbin from the side, one step. I'll push on the foot control again, and as I do, go ahead and move back towards the needle, and you're ready to sew again. This is just an amazing machine. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it forward again, and simply invite you, if you haven't checked out all of our videos, check them out. This is a machine that can do anything. 